Now this one I challenged you and I said, don't exfoliate at all and see how you do, right? Okay, so this is fun. Let's see how you did. Okay, so you can see he gets this like big long bar that's a little laid over and um, a little bit, of, we call this retained bar, but it's actually not bar material, it's sole. And we know that because there's no, um, there's no, you know, white line up here. So it's not bar, it's actually sole material. Um, there's different ideas about why they get that. Hold on, wait, er, okay. Um, your line back here, I think is pretty accurate, but it's a little crooked. I'd move this side down. Oh, I see that, yes. Yep. And then this one, so you're sort of following his Just, rotation a little bit there. Mm. Even though he wears his breaker to the outside, you know, he toes in. I know, good boy. Um, yeah, this is why it's important to get your bar swell at the bottom of the collateral groove, right? Because you can really see it there. And your frog boob is easy, but you know, you have one line here and one line here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think it's hard when you're not exfoliating. It just shows you how exfoliating helps, right? Yeah. So if we were to exfoliate this now, let me just get under him for a second. Come here, good boy. So clean up the chalk in the collateral groove, or in the collateral groove, that's the junction of sole to white line. Trim the bar to get it straighter. All right, oh, look, see, got some bacteria under there. Find the true frog apex. There. Here. Now, the only reason I touched that, that sole up there is because um, it was chalky and it was got, had infection under there. Normally, we wouldn't care unless it was taller than the wall, right? Yes. But he has really good concavity. So that looks pretty good. And then clean up my frog, find the back of my collateral grooves here and here. Obviously, my knife needs to be sharpened, so I'm going to do as I say, not as I do, right? Just kidding. If you want to fight with your knife, I don't care. <laughs> okay, he's got a little bit of a deep central sulcus there. So I'm going to clean that up. It's amazing how much I don't care if my knife is sharp. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Okay, so now we can see the back better. There we go. And then I like to get this corner out a little bit more. Right there. So I can really see where the back of that collateral groove is. Get the mud flaps here and here. There we go. So now we can see, right, here and here, mm -hmm. right? And then frog boob, bar swells, you're right on the bar swells, good job. Here to here, double that forward. If you're accurate with your fingers and you know where you're going, you can do it this way, okay? It's better with your dividers, right? So in my head here, to that, basically I was saying to myself to that dot, Keep it on one plane, and then here to here. Look at that, spot on. Good job. Good job. So I think what we should do is just go ahead and trim him, and you'll see me make some slight adjustments for the rotational deformity, but then otherwise it's a pretty straightforward trim. Okay? Okay. 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 Grinder's over here, let's start over here. All right, good boy. With 
you want to show like above a little bit. So you've got to be really careful as to your angle. Watch. You've got to really be like show really good symmetry like this oh, so you can really see the difference. If you're over here, you can't really appreciate anything, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking right here and then coming right down to here so you can really see the difference in the symmetry and the trim and the untrimmed. Okay? Fascinating. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, back foot. Good boy. Good boy. Can you point to the new toe pillars, the the toe, the actual toe pillars to the marked ones? Right here. So See that? Yeah. Transition here and transition here. So I shift it this way because of the toe in, right? You can see that mm -hmm. right here. So I shift it over. So it kind of just pre-rolls the break over because his knee is going to face that way, especially on this foot. Preserve the height there. You got it. Okay. Oh, these feet are orange.
Okay. Can you see it better that way now? Symmetry. Oops, I'm sorry. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. The other one. On the on the wall to do this color, but it is thick. Yeah, it's like and really abrasive. It's like hoof armor with color. Yeah, right. Seriously, but I bet they had fun. That's what matters. <laughs> Remember, he's in work, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I might want to do more with him, but considering that he trail rides barefoot every day over the rocks and does all sorts of games with the kids and everything, I don't want to over trim him. So it's just a matter of, you know, picking my battles, you know, and not, not, um, not overdoing it, but I like his toe a little shorter, sure. Well, I like his angle a little bit more upright, sure. But this works for him. And he maintains a fairly non-distorted capsule. So that's a win-win. It doesn't yes. always have to be perfect, right? Right. Right. All right. I think he's done. Yay. Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>